Hi, this is a visual 3D synthesizer which is uh, very similar to audio synthesizers. Audio synthesizers uh, use uh, basic waveforms like sine wave, saw wave and so on to generate new sounds and here I use basic uh, visual shapes like uh, torus, sphere, cube and so on to generate um, new visual forms and uh, one of the more interesting uh, visual basic shapes uh, here which is not so basic is a spect spectrogram uh, as we turn on the audio uh, spectrogram appears on the screen you can turn it around and here is the lookup table to add some colors we can just we can differently color um, different heights of the spectrogram and um, we can change the, the vertices the coordinates of the vertices can um, fade it so it goes off jumping to the base and we can exponentially scale it there's as well a spectral slide which um, just slides the spectrum um, and we can downsample the spectrogram we set the planes back Modulate. Here we can choose uh, the source of modulation, and if you choose low, it means that I'm modulating it uh, with each uh, um, event that is detected in the low frequency. Okay, what we want to do next is to detect events in uh, different frequency ranges. Uh, we set uh, the filters appropriately. And then uh, we have the expander and transient detector to um, easier detect uh, the wanted uh, events. <clears throat> so now with the expander, uh, we will lower the threshold to detect um, the happening in the low frequency range. And now we can see these are the, our bits. Now with the transit detector we go down and we can see this <coughs> toggle shows us that the, the bits are detected. And no duration is uh, how long uh, will the node be hold uh, before it will be released and minimum off time tells us uh, how long uh, the transient ones detected should be above I mean the, the average amplitude uh, should be above the threshold to be detected as, a, as an event in order to synthesize a shape we need, we need to understand this circuit uh, which uh, defines uh, what is linked to what and basically now we see only spectrogram this is because this slider which uh, which uh, fades between one and the other option uh, is set to this uh, point and we see that here is we have a spectrogram coming in this red uh, uh, red all red uh, 
uh, elements are like sources so we have like the same source here spectrogram then we have here basic shapes uh, which are uh, we, we, we can choose different ones we have noise and so on so if we change spectrogram to torus we, we are now moving up towards this chain now we can morph into sphere and if we want to, if in, for instance we see that the torus uh, has as well a noise input so if we click on noise here uh, the noise uh, highlights and we can um, add noise or maybe modulate with noise with the base and scale it and set react time and so on um, then if you go to sphere there's no noise because it's it's added only to the torus so then we have this side and yeah by the way this is the output of the chain and this is the beginning so um, if we want to control uh, how the geometry is drawn we can click here on draw primitive and we, the draw primitive, draw primitive is highlighted so we can choose here lines for instance and spectrogram change lines we can as well modulate and let's say that with uh, with the base we will modulate the um, the drawing primitive so in modulation range um, uh, depend on the modulation range it depends uh, which uh, primitives are chosen um, okay here we have uh, mathematical operations on shapes uh, the first three are uh, operations for separate uh, planes and the last one is, a, is, for, is for all three so now if I change the last one all three uh, changes now I just so we can find different combinations here and of course if we change the spectrum the coordinates of the spectrogram we get very different results now we can as well auto rotate and set some random lighting ambient and diffuse lights uh, what you want to do now is to randomly change uh, mathematical operations and this can be done only by modulating this fade um, and the idea is that when the fade is on the left side the right mathematical operation is selected and when the fade is on the right side the, the operation on the left is selected that means that uh, all sudden changes happens uh, in the moment uh, which is not visible so we can have a uh, smooth uh, fadings um, so if you turn on the audio uh, now at the moment uh, spectrogram is modulated uh, with bass and we will add as well the fade to modulate it so we can see now that uh, the slider is uh, standing still but here we see the value that the modulation is happening and uh, different uh, values are appearing so um, here we have different random 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 algorithms how to uh, switch between these um, 
micro corporations and this one uh, called smart has a lot of presets uh, it like filters some mathematical operations it like forces some to occur more often and so on so this is a nice option and the thing is that if the fade time like how slow this fade is happening is too slow then um, the random change will never happen because this fade needs to go till the end so um, if we change the fading time to something very small we will have much more happening going on Uh, there are many different settings and combinations, but I think they are pretty straightforward, so um, I won't go into details. Um, the only thing I would like to mention as well is when choosing uh, random operations, when click on one, for instance, here is random x, y, z separate, we can see that these three and these three operations are li a little bit darker. Uh, this dark color uh, indicates uh, what is modulated so here each uh, separate plane x y z is uh, modulated is randomly chosen separately if we choose then this uh, together twice option we can see that the randomness is uh, um, happening on two levels here here and here and together once is only here and here again this becomes darker so we can still choose another um, operation manually from here but we cannot we should not choose any of those because uh, those gets overwritten by the last one which is for uh, the operation for all three